Mr. Beast wants to be the CEO of Twitter. What is happening? No, this can't happen. Wait. Okay, I'm having a big brain moment. Okay, time out. Okay, so this could actually work really, really well, but this could also potentially be the downfall of Mr. Beast, which would obviously be tragic. Okay, there's definitely a lot of pros and cons to this, but let's think about this analytically, okay? Okay, we are, we are way too close for comfort here. Let's back it up a little bit. Back it up, six feet, okay? Let's think about this analytically and logically by weighing out the pros and the cons. We'll start with the pros and we'll work our way into the cons. But first, Order has been taken. Oh yeah. The new Dutch Bros app is actually super dope. You guys should download it. Also, if you're wondering what a sick drink to get at Dutch Bros is, I recommend the Holly Jolly Blue Rebel without a soft top because soft tops ruin the drink and get it iced. And I like to leave the sprinkles on because I think it's cool. Just got my Dutch Bros. I used to tip every single time I came here. And maybe I've just changed. But now it's just, it's such a, like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to tip you. Like, maybe if I had Mr. Beast money, it'd be different. All right, maybe, maybe. Okay, it makes me feel bad, but also it kind of doesn't because like the Dwight Schrute rule, right? I could have made this drink. I used to work at Starbucks. I know how to make drinks. It hits. Okay, got a tank full of gas. Now I want to go to my first point as to why Mr. Beast should be the CEO of Twitter. For one, he has a tank full of gas. Mr. Beast is in his absolute prime right now. He is 24, actually, I don't even believe that. I don't believe he's in his prime because I believe his prime is just getting started. He's priming up for his life. He's just getting started. I'm the same age as Mr. Beast, I think. Maybe I'm, not, I don't know. But I'm the same age as Mr. Beast and I think I'm just getting started too. Okay, point number one, and I actually wrote all this down. All right, well, point number one is he's in his prime. Okay, this is pretty much point number two. He's one of the biggest YouTubers in the world, but not just because he's naturally charismatic or because he's just naturally funny, but because he's actually studied YouTube for so long that he's actually become a genius. In There's so many YouTubers and influencers who got famous by dancing, they got famous doing X, Y, Z. You see, he did it because he was completely obsessed. But the reason we all know Mr. Beast's name is because he broke his back trying to study the algorithm, trying to study audiences, trying to study retention hacks, trying to study every single thing there is to know about YouTube. And don't forget this, even though YouTube is a search outlet, it's also a social media. So who better to run one of the biggest social media sites in the world than one of the biggest creators in the world? It's kind of poetic, isn't it? So something Elon Musk has been talking about was making Twitter a place for all creators to monetize all their content, right? Not just the verbal content, but also the visual content. This means pictures, videos, as well as the regular text. And something Mr. Beast said was that you need to make it juicy enough so creators want to post your videos on Twitter. And this is a really important distinction because it shows the way that Mr. Beast actually thinks. Slightly unconventional, extremely hard to implement, yes, but there's absolutely no one better to implement this than one of the biggest creators on any single platform to ever exist. Mr. Beast is one of the biggest creators on YouTube, one of the biggest creators on TikTok, as well as one of the biggest creators on Instagram. And now I want to talk about why Mr. Beast shouldn't be the CEO of Twitter. Mr. Beast will literally pass it off to someone else. If you look at all of his companies right now, Beastables, Beast Burgers, right? He all he has a CEO do everything for him. Okay, not everything, but he does have a CEO managing the actual day-to-day -day operations. And because of that, I think Twitter deserves a CEO that's actually going to be present. Twitter deserves a CEO that's actually going to give it all the attention that it needs. And right now, Mr. Beast does literally a thousand other things. He doesn't need to be the CEO of Twitter. There's so many other people who are also extremely well qualified, who also don't have as much on their plate as Mr. Beast. Ergo, they would do a better job, hypothetically, because they have more time to. Oh, this is a good one. He also shouldn't become CEO because I don't know how it would look for the world's biggest creator on YouTube to jump ship and move to another platform and to become the CEO of that platform. Jimmy would be compromising literally every single one of his businesses, which thrive off of the success of his YouTube channel. It would be so insanely interesting to see how this plays out either way. One, because I love chaos. Two, because I love drama. And you don't need a third one. Well, three, because I could be able to make content off of it and that'd be kind of interesting. Unless this video doesn't do well, which will just be sad. 
three is a very real possibility. But seriously, what do you think? Are you pro Elon Musk Twitter? Do you want Twitter to become beastified? Let me know in the comments. I'm responding to literally everyone. Have a good one. Subscribe if you want and have a good one. <laughs> this was really, really fun. I like vlogging.